Hi everybody, it's Dylan Balsamo here alongside Fordham men's soccer head coach Carlo Acquista after the end of this tumultuous and odd and unique type of season. Congratulations coach on this season as strange and as unique as it was. Yeah, thank you very much for, uh, for doing this and having me today. Of course. So my first question for you would be, what was the most difficult part of this season? I'd imagine there were so many obstacles that you could never have prepared for, but what was the thing that made it the most difficult? The most difficult for me, look, testing, no problem. Yep. Going to test every day was not a big deal. Um, it was sitting around waiting for results. All right, are we training tomorrow? Are we not training tomorrow? You know, uh, that was the most difficult. I don't think just for me, I can maybe answer for our student athletes, uh, our soccer student athletes, I yep. think for them as well and the coaching staff. We really wanted to be out there, you know, being away from the game and the competition for a very long time. It was the hurry up and wait type aspect of testing in the next day. Understood. Let's talk a little bit about those players, because I would imagine for them this was a lot of, as you mentioned, uh, hurry up and wait type of thing. So how did they stay in the, the hype of things? How did you keep them in that? And uh, what do you have to say about the way that they handled this season? I really think we did a good job of dealing with everything one day at a time, right? A situation at a time, conversation at a time. Um, and everybody's situation was a little bit different, right? Each player. So I thought the coaching staff kind of took that lead on that aspect of it, and they, and they followed. And then the, the lead that they took was, um, you know, working with a sports mindset coach, um, having some Zoom calls with each other, things like that, where we couldn't get together. So they really, really were on point, and they were really dedicated with uh, the group, each other. Understood. Let's talk about uh, the regular season, because obviously it was much more condensed than it typically is. But nevertheless, you still have the arc of a whole season throughout that. So w was there a difficulty in trying to squeeze all of the tensity of a regular season into the handful of games that you guys ended up playing? Well, Phil and I worked on the schedule, right? And we, we scheduled, I think it was quite a bit of games, 14, thinking that we'd get 10, mm -hmm. you know, regular season games. Of course. Uh, unfortunately, we missed more than that. Uh, but because we had a lot of games scheduled, it really felt that we were getting some type of season in. Um, and it kept motivating the players that, you know, we have a game. Let's lead up to that game. Let's be prepared for that game. Let's get ready for that game. We're getting off this pause, say, you know, on the 13th. Like, what's next, you know? So they, they, they really want to get out to the field and prove themselves. So the regular season finishes up. And it was a pretty successful regular season for as short as it was. You get into the Atlantic 10 tournament, and there's success there coming into uh, the NCAA tournament. You're the Atlantic 10 champions. What do you have to say about this team and the way they performed when things were on the line for them? I don't think they ever doubted themselves. Mm -hmm. They had good confidence, not an arrogance. You know, um, I remember uh, Matt Sloan, one of our leaders and captains, um, came to, up to us after the game. I said, look, I know we tied today against Rhode Island, but I never felt like we were going to lose today. So we kind of took that mantra every match, and, and they must have done a lot of work behind the scenes. I could give the leaders a lot of credit, Josh Levine, Matt Sloan, Jacob, Samir, Luke, you know, Brandon Golden, a lot of our, you know, uh, seniors. They did a fantastic job leading the group. And, you know, just being around you guys uh, throughout a season, specifically when you find out you're going to be playing Marshall in the first round, uh, or the second round, excuse me, of the tournament, there, there was not... There was an excitement in the room, but there was there was a certain type of, of sternness. There was a, a amount of confidence you could feel in a player. Uh, is that something you instill in them, or is that something they bring about themselves? Well, I hope my leadership skills kind of oozes into the group, mm -hmm. uh, and I think that was somewhat part of it. But a lot of credit to each player and and our our leadership, what they did throughout the the season. You know, a lot of them played in a lot of games, so when you get to that point. For them, it's just another game. Yeah, that's the direction you want to go, and those leaders kind of carried us through the season, and then all of a sudden, everyone just kind of jumped on board. So it's I think it's a combination of the coaching staff has to start it, but they actually ended it for us. So not to harp on on the one tournament game, but you you, you play Marshall, and it's quite literally a game of inches that you guys end up losing that game by, and not to mention you end up losing to the, the national champions. So. Is that a certain type of thing that will give you enthusiasm coming into the next season? Is that uh, a momentum driver, or is it just like any other game, like you mentioned? I would say that's a motivational factor of coming back and being excited to come back sooner rather than later, right? We finished in May, mm -hmm. and we're coming back already in August. Yeah. So it's all just a few months away 
So the hunger and the desire is still there with the group. Um, you know, credit to Marshall, they were the best team in the country. And yeah. Our goal that day, obviously, was to win. Our objective was to win. Um, we want to stay in the game as long as possible, and we did, kind of, sort of, you know? Yeah. And almost kind of finished them off, but, you know, credit to them, they were the best in the country. So, real quick, just to wrap things up here, what do you have to say about coming in the next season, like you mentioned, the momentum? Uh, what is your expectation for this team? There's a lot of guys returning. What is the goal for next year? Expectations is an interesting word. Yeah. Because we should have the same expectations annually. Mm -hmm. We should have the same goals annually. And if we instill this culture as a coaching staff and what these leaders have done this year, I think it's just going to be repetitive every year. I'm excited more than anything else. Wonderful. Could be back already. Wonderful. There is an excitement, and you can feel it here at the Fordham Men's Soccer Program. That's head coach Carlo Aquista. I'm Dylan Balsamo.